in on my mind, me not happy No red light could I ever make me stop it If me ever draw me gun, you better big for me drop it Suicide at the topic What's good YouTube, it's your girl Birch and welcome back to another video man If you can see by the date, it's Sunday So I'm dropping story time every Sunday, I told y'all that We gonna see how long we can keep up with the shenanigans And today's story is gonna be maybe more motivational than funny Or like, you know, any of those But I'm going to tell you about the time I lost over 10 scholarships Aww. Yeah. Oh, I didn't go to jail or nothing I ain't going to jail. I wasn't on that gangster. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Life happened, and um, I tore my ACL. And, you know, that's just what it is. I, I want to tell y'all the story of how this really happened, man. Um, and for all my younger people watching this that may be in high school right now, make sure y'all stick around, especially if you're an athlete, all right? It was, like, back in February. I was in the 12th grade, and I think 10th graders were taking, like, the PSATs or something like that. There was no reason for me to show up to school, right? I went to the gym, the community center that was near me. It was, like, literally two minutes from the school. I was just hooping, and y'all know I'm a hooper or whatever. So I was just hooping, just, you know, practicing, getting ready. I had a scrimmage coming up um, the following month at FIT, Florida Institute of Technology. I had a crazy scrimmage. I was supposed to sign a full scholarship to FIT. So I had that coming up and I was just, you know, training, just making sure I was, you know, Gucci, you know what I mean? I was in the gym and first of all, before my knee, before anything even happened to my knee, I did like a layup and I was recording it. Like I was recording for quality and insurance purposes, but I was recording it or whatever just for myself. And like I did a layup and I came down wrong and like I heard in the video, my ankle pop, like it pop. And I was like sitting out for like 20 something minutes. Like, that's how bad it was hurting. Like, I sat out for 20 minutes. There was no one in the gym, though. It was just me. It was early as heck. I think it was, like, freaking 9.30. Whenever the gym are open. I don't know if it was 9 or whatever. You know what I mean? So, oh, she's scratching. Ooh, dang, you know when that good itch, itch. Ooh, you itch, it's scratching, bitch. But yeah, so I was in the gym, I heard it pop, so I went and I relaxed for 20 minutes. Then I went back to working out again. So I, when I went back to working out again, everything was cool. I was working out whatever, and then people started to come in. So we eventually started playing, like, like I think it was a full court game that we ended up playing. But mind you, when I got hurt, nobody was next to me. It was like I was dribbling the ball, and I took, like, a weird step. A weird step, and my knee just completely, like, ah! Like it was in so I was in so much pain. And that was at the time, that was when I partially tore it. So I partially torn it. My knee was swollen. I iced it. It was hurting like hell. Um, I think I, like a day or two later, I was, you know, I was kind of like back to normal. I was Gucci. So I didn't see the doctor or nothing. So I was really walking around with a half torn ACL. So when I went to FIT a month later in March for my scrimmage, I was the youngest, y'all. I was like 17, everybody else was already like returners and stuff. It was like a 20 year old and then everybody else was 21 and up. So I was the youngest there, man. I was really, I was I was doing my damn thing. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I was doing my damn thing. Out rebounding, out stealing, out shooting, out everything, out performing, you know what I mean? Well, my mom calls me up into the bleachers like after we had a little break or whatever. And she's like, are you okay? Cause she knew, she knew it was already partially torn. You know what I mean? She did, well, she didn't know exactly that it was torn but she knew my knee was hurt. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm good, Ma. Like, I'm playing great. Don't you see me? I'm out here dominating. Like, I'm good. Like, don't, don't give me this, don't give me this vibe right now, Ma. Don't give me this vibe right now. Like, I'm playing good. I ain't even, I ain't even complaining about my knee. Like, that jump was doing great. But like a minute and like 15 seconds later, bro, I'm in the game, bro. And I'm just, I'm in the game, just chilling. Boom, 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 whatever. Loose ball, ball goes rolling down the court. Me and this girl running after it. I get to it, I reach for it, but I was in position, crouch, it was like a lazy reach. Don't be lazy when you reach basketball players. Don't be lazy with them reach. Make sure you get down in squat position. So anyways, I was lazy with the reach and I reach after it and my knee like slid back, like, like, it like hyperextended and just slid back. And then that was it. I, it was just so painful. I was crying, not cause of the pain, but just cause I knew like, I mean, yeah, it was over. The scholarships, them scholarships are gone. Them scholarships are not coming back. Nah. 
they did offer that after I felt better or whatever I could come back, but you know, life kind of just went in a whole different direction. Life just started doing lots of wild things, y'all. I never did end up going back. I still have my full eligibility to go play some college ball right now. Uh, I still got my full health too, you know what I mean? Maybe not the stamina, but that can be worked on. So if any any colleges out there looking to recruit, man, I really am that girl. Just, just get my stamina right, tighten up my arm. You know, I don't want to be no point guard though. I want to... <clears throat> And I want to uh, ditch it. Uh, you feel me? But, um, yeah, man. So, that's how I lost everything. All those scholarships that I had just slowly started getting knocked off. Just knocked off, knocked off. And, and I get it, bro. No one's going to pay you to not be able to play. You know? Fortunately for me, um, like, during that time, the person I was dating in high school broke up with me. And, you know, while I was in bed and couldn't move. Um, so I decided to take up an offer from a coach, um, at Errol Waters College. And, you know, I took the offer or whatever. Uh, it was like a red flag offer. Um, my ACT scores pretty much paid for, um, uh, majority of the college, um, cause I had like grants or whatever, but you know, that experience was, was great too, going to that college. And I've been to three different colleges. So let me know if y'all want, if y'all want a video on my experiences, with three different colleges. I went to Edward Waters College, which is an HBCU in Jacksonville, Florida. And then I went to Florida Atlantic U University, FAU, which is in Boca. And then I went to Palm Beach State College, man, which is in Lake Worth. So it's like, I've been to three different colleges, an HBCU, a university, and a community college. So if you have any questions about the atmosphere that you may encounter or the differences I find between them, definitely drop a comment and we could talk about it because your girl been to a couple colleges, and I only got one degree. <laughs> and they like I got a PhD. You see me? But it's all good, man. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, and I got I know I got to get on top of my T's, which is why I'm doing story time Sundays because at least y'all know there's something consistent that I got to do. So that's something y'all can look forward to. And then the other days are surprises for the people who turn on post notifications. <laughs> Turn on post notifications so you don't you know every time those surprise drops drop. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. But other than that, if you don't want to turn on post notification, I'ma let you know. Story time Sunday, every Sunday. I don't know. We we, we can't pick a time yet. Just stay tuned for Sundays. We can say seven. Because that's that's my favorite number. So we're gonna say seven. Alright? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And make sure y'all listen. Listen. Make sure if you're in school keep them grades up okay sports ain't everything because you can you you can you can lose a sports scholarship and still go to college with grades but you can't go to college i don't know where i was going with that but you know where i was going with that Stop the cap you don't it don't matter. Smash that like button. Dominant, she told me she like it rough. Me different dog, she can't never get enough. Pillow talk, don't do no chat too much. Shut your mouth, don't make me beat it up.